What's happening everyone? Sam Madlinsky here coming at you with the first video back in England and I've got a couple of things that I want to talk about and that have come to my mind since being back. Um, firstly, you guys have heard me talk a lot about how normal it is in Turkey to be walking around Istanbul with you know, like bandages on your head and hair transplant scabs like the one I've got now and you know, you could literally be eating dinner next to people and they wouldn't even bat an eyelid that you'd look so strange there. Um, but anyway, I was a little apprehensive about returning to England because obviously I understand that it's a little bit less common to see someone like this walking around the streets, you know, but nevertheless, I wasn't worried, like I wasn't going to go buy one of them bucket hats, like I was just going to embrace it and like not really give a shit what people think I look like or not. Um, but like, boy, did people look, you know, literally as soon as I got off the plane and I was queuing through passport control, you know, where the queue snakes left and right all the way to the scanner. Like every time I went around the queue, like someone new would be looking because like, don't forget all these people who are coming back from like Spain and Greece and with the nice tans and the sunglasses. But like I've just been to Istanbul and had like 3,000 incisions in the top of my head. So like I wasn't going to get embarrassed or like judge anyone for looking at me because if I'm honest, if I'd have lived in another life where a hair transplant wasn't really on the agenda and like I never really thought I'd get one like I'd probably be looking at someone like me as well thinking like what's that on the top of his head like how come what's he got going on there you know like so I just walked through the queue and I just got my luggage and like I just smiled at people when they looked at me and you know that that was kind of it really you know that was my first encounter with like the normal general public completed so yeah um my transplant area now is starting to get like really flaky and crusty, which is normal. Um, most people seen it on my Instagram story yesterday, and most people wasn't very pleased about seeing it. But yeah, uh, the next couple of days are the days where like all this bit is supposed to like flake off and become like fresh and flat again. So I'll keep everyone posted on my Instagram stories and stuff um, when that starts to happen. Um, I've actually got the remainder of the week off work too as well. So today I took my beloved dogs out for a walk in the park. I uh, just so I could kind of break myself in more to the general public without having too many people like overwhelmingly surrounding me and stuff like. And that was kind of nice to be back in a familiar environment. Um, but like having no worries about how my hair was or if I'd had a cap or. You know, if my hair was messy or if the wind was blowing it a certain way, like, I just got to relax and just chill and walk, you know. I also encountered some, like, nice old ladies who was probably too interested in my dogs than they were to see, like, what was kind of going on up here. So that was kind of nice to just kind of, like, relax and talk to people. Um, the last thing I wanted to talk about as well is earlier today, my girlfriend actually suggested that we go for some dinner tonight as we've not seen each other all week and you know while I've been away and my first natural reaction was to say like hmm you know I'm not really feeling it you know I don't really want to be walking around heavily public places where I know everyone will be looking at me and then I just kind of thought like why is that my natural reaction to say that like when all I've done all week is pre preaching to the world how important it is to not give a fuck what anyone thinks so like obviously I changed my mind and I said to her like no absolutely we should go definitely like we're going and like I just sat there for a bit and I imagine like imagine I denied me and my girlfriend from going to have a nice meal just because I was worried about what other people think like imagine you did that all throughout life you denied yourself from doing nice things because of other people's opinions on you doing them like that's when it kind of hit me that initially we are worried about what people think about us but if you take a step back and weigh up both sides of what's more important, you know, you doing what you want to do and what people think about you, like, you'll always come out on top and you should just go ahead and do it, you know. So I'm going to be doing it and I'm just going to keep doing what I want to do instead of being worried about what other people are thinking about me doing, you know. So that was kind of my second experience with the battle of dealing with normal life and being back at home and getting back into social situations. Um, yeah, so then two little updates I think are pretty interesting and crucial, which people will experience if they get if they go ahead and get this done. 
if not it's another little recap of just doing what you want to do instead of being asked about what other people will think about you doing it so yeah hope you got a little bit of value out of that and again everyone loving the support on these videos respect to everyone that's hit that little like button and respect to everyone that's hit that little subscribe button like we're building a little community here where people are feeling more comfortable in talking to everyone about their hair and the thoughts they have on losing hair and receding so it's absolutely sick to just see people talking and chatting and you know opening up to me about their own worries and their own thoughts and ideas on it um keep that coming absolutely mint and um, follow me on instagram at sam modlinska for regular photo updates of my journey and how i'm getting on and hopefully in the future i can see your journey and how you're all getting on with it if you decide to go down that route and um, yeah that's it for today see you all sometime this week